13 News Now is your back to school station. And with some districts heading back to school next week, we wanted to see how teachers are getting ready for the fall semester. Turns out a lot of things have changed since the spring. Later, two weeks later, the last time I talked with Jennifer Groves, she was in her first week of virtual learning back in March. It was stressful, expectations weren't clear, and it was tough getting students engaged in the work. We're still, we're still trying to figure it out, but we're also a lot more prepared. More prepared thanks to weekly training sessions teachers in Virginia Beach were provided all summer long. Groves teaches 12th grade government at Lansdowne High School. Do you have any big takeaways from the training that you've received so far that you, you look forward to, you know, kind of implementing? I've never done a flipped classroom before, but that's when you basically record yourself ahead of time. Students can watch it asynchronously. They can they can look at your notes. They can look at your your lesson and now they can go research or they can work collaboratively with each other on a project. You heard her mention asynchronous important terminology for parents watching. In the context of virtual learning, think of asynchronous as pre-recorded lectures or assignments, videos that Groves will share with students, and they can listen and observe at their own pace. And that'll make things easier when she turns to synchronous teaching. Think of synchronous as class time, live engagement, in this case, your Zoom calls during school hours. We're learning how to effectively engage students online, which I think is a huge difference from the spring. Another big difference, expectations. Most students didn't receive grades in the spring. This fall, that'll change. Grove says she's more confident in the curriculum, the format, and the idea of teaching online. We want them to be active. We want them to be engaged. And we want the expectations to be just as high as if we were in the classroom face to face. And Groves tells me they'll also do something called community-based teaching. It means all teachers in a certain subject will come together to collaborate on a unified lesson plan. That way the curriculum is more consistent all across the board.